What is up, people of YouTube? I'm your host, Vernon. This is Cold Creek. Let's fish that. All right, ladies and gents, let me start off by saying this is Southern Nevada. It is around Las Vegas. There is absolutely no ice fishing in this area. Yes, some of the places like the Spring Mountains, some of the creeks, like this little one next to me, it does freeze. But many of the big uh, ponds and lakes, none of them freeze over. So you'll never be able to do some true ice fishing out there. So this is not an ice fishing video, but we did make our way out here to Cold Creek because this water is very cold and that's going to grant us some access to trying to find some trout. Now, to be honest, the little creek is very narrow at this section. I don't think there are any fish down here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Cold Creek Pond. That's a place where they stock during November. They stocked a thousand trout in there. So rather than fishing the creek, we're going to head to the pond and see if we can catch any trout out there. And the main reason behind this is to see whether the fish that were stocked in November, whether there's still any fish around whether there's way too much fishing pressure too many people out there fishing so enough chit chat let's get to fishing all right guys first thing you'll notice it's not that busy at the moment that's because in vegas it's currently 60 something degrees whereas here at cold creek the maximum temperatures for today is 44 degrees that's seven degrees celsius so it's still pretty cold out here still got some snow everywhere and like I mentioned, the creek does freeze over, but our plan for today is going to be trying to find the little stocker trouts. The guy there on the opposite side, he's been catching a few already, but we're going to try with one rod with some power baits. I'm going to leave that soaking out there. And on the other rods, we're going to be using a variety of lures to try and find them. Now, normally my go-to would be something like using some flies or some of the power worms. But this time around, I'm going to start off using a little jerk bait. Uh, this is the smallest jerk bait I have. It is a bit big, but maybe there's some bigger trout in the area that will be willing to go for this guy. I'm going to start off with this and then we'll go over to the more usual stuff. My idea with the little jerk bait is going to be trying to move it as slow as possible. I'm going to get some tension on the line and I'm just going to give it a little pull, leave it, jerk it, try and keep some tension on the line so we know if we get a hit. So I'm going to be throwing that around for a while, maybe change to some different lures. So why am I starting off with a little jerk bait? Well, it's quite simple. Uh, these fish have been targeted for the last four months now. They're kind of used to little power baits and power worms. I want to try something different to see whether I can get a reaction out of them rather than trying to find something that they've seen a million times before. All right, guys, we had a hit on little power baits. Tiny little trout, but luckily we got something. We'll see how he's hooked. So again, still the power baits are working, even though they've been seeing power baits the entire season. All right, so before we land this fish, remember to wet your hands when touching trout. You don't want to damage this slime layer with the oil on your hands. Lovely little colors and patterns on this one. We weren't really planning on keeping any uh, trout and especially if they're this size I would love to release this little guy but sadly he swallowed the entire hook. Uh, there's no good way of getting the hook out without uh, harming the fish so I think we're gonna have to keep this little guy. Alright so we got our little trout on the stringer 
This is an exciting fish for me. It means finally getting rid of the skunk. We finally have a fish again. All right, so that's the problem when fishing with power baits. It's sometimes the fish swallow it. So you have to be willing to keep some fish if you're gonna use some power baits. All right guys, bit of an update. Uh, the little jerk bait and some inline spinners. We've been throwing that around for quite a while. Not getting any interest on that. I'm thinking the water is too cold. These fish don't wanna be chasing around some moving baits. But we have been getting quite a lot of hits when using a little uh, trout magnet with a little power worm on there. But the fish seem to be grabbing the back side of the worm. We're not getting any hook sets on them. So I'm going to use a little drop shot rig. I'm going to be using some power worms on here, seeing maybe if we can get a better hook set on them and maybe swapping out to some flies. A uh, drop shot is a great way to use some different flies out there as well, rather than using my fly rod. We'll see if we can get any fish on that. So on the little power worm, I've been getting quite a lot of short strikes where they grab the back end of the little worm, but never get the actual hook part. I've even have a little crappie uh, hook on there, something that goes a lot further back into the little worm. Still getting a lot of short strikes. If you guys have any hints for me on how to prevent the short strikes on the little power worms, please go down in the comments and tell me. But it seems at the moment, just had a hit there, that some of the smaller lures might be a better option out there. All right, guys, this one is on the drop shot on a little power worm. I had quite a couple of uh, hits where I can't catch them. Seeing that they're not going for the hook, they're going for the back end of the worm. But this one went for the entire one. Again, when touching trout, remember to wet your hands. That just helps to get the oil layer off your hands. And there we go. A bit bigger sized one with a little worm in the top of the mouth. So because this one is uh, hooked nice in the corner of the mouth, we can safely release this one. All right, so nice little look at the trout. This one is actually grunting. First time I hear a trout grunt. Maybe it's just some air escaping his gills. So let's get him back into the water. <coughs> and there he goes. He wasn't gonna wait around for me to let him go. He was off immediately. All right, guys, got another one on the power baits. These fish are pretty good at trying to steal your little baits. If you're not setting the hook at the right moment, you're not gonna catch them. So it has to be kind of a hands-on thing. Lively little guy. Let's get him out of the water and see how he's hooked. This one has completely different colors to the first one, not as many dots, more of a pale coloring, but he has black lining on his fins. Also on his uh, lips and stuff, so I'm thinking he maybe has some different type of uh, trout blood somewhere in his lineage. And once again, this guy completely swallowed the hook. so. Not going to release this guy, we at least now have two little trout, should be good enough for a meal somewhere. So this little guy, his entire stomach almost came out, so we're putting him on the stringer. Alright, so we have our two little fish in the water, uh, thinking we don't want to keep any more fish, so maybe we're not going to use any more power baits out there. However, the wife hasn't caught any fish yet, and we still want her to get one, so we'll maybe try with the power baits one more time but we're not planning on keeping any more fish. All right, guys, another one for the power worm. It's ever so subtle, little tick on your line. If you set the hook then, you might get a little trout. My 
hook to land ratio isn't that good. I'm getting lots of bites, but uh, every once in a while I do manage to get one hooked. Again, small little guy. Some lovely green colors on this one. Let's get him back to the water. All right, so another one for the little power worm. And there he goes. All right, so we caught a couple of fish out there, but we're gonna make some space for other people to do some fishing as well. Hey everyone, I'm Neil, and guess who I just ran into? Vernon from Finally Fishing. So I just wanna give a quick shout out to Vernon and his wife for making these videos because my parents are now fishing over there and they're crushing it. So thank you guys, um, appreciate you guys watching and I hope to see you guys, bye. All right guys, big thank you to Neil for that shout out and what a great time we had out here at Colt Creek. Now, earlier in this video, I said that I want to see whether uh, the fishing here is still any good. I mean, since they stuck this little pond, it's been quite pressured, lots of people out here fishing. Now, was the fishing any good? Yes, it was but it also had a few snags along the way. Uh, what do I mean by this? Uh, there's still loads of fish in this pond, especially people releasing the fish, it helps quite a lot. But as the season progresses, these fish tend to no longer go for power baits. Uh, they've seen the power worms quite a lot. Uh, they know how to try and uh, bite on different parts so that they don't get hooked. Now, what you don't see in this video is uh, all the fish we can feel biting, but we don't get a hook set on them. And I have to say that the fact that I'm out there weekly doing fishing, I'm quite used to the gear. I know when my rod does something, it's not supposed to that I set the hook. Uh, whereas with the wife, uh, she actually struggled out there. And that can be quite true for a lot of us coming to this place. If you're not used to fighting the fish when they're this finicky, it can be really difficult to catch them. But there are still fish around when it's uh, cold outside and it's hard to find fish in other places trout is still a good option and cold creek pond we don't have any cormorants around yes it has a lot more fishing pressure than it used to but you can still catch some fish out there all right guys but i think that's going to do for this video i want to thank you for following us out here and finally got some fish again uh, please do give me a little thumbs up for catching some fish again and feel free to ask any questions down below in the comments subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already but I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.